Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to take up a few oral exam questions that are asked in the topic of EGDIS. Now, these questions were sent to me by students who send me messages asking me answers to these questions. So I thought uh, I will start collecting these questions and make separate videos on answering them purely for an oral exam. All right, so let's get started. So one of the questions that is often asked in the oral exam is, uh, what is the difference between EGDIS and ECS? So EGDIS, if you guys don't know, EGDIS stands for Electronic Chart Display and Information System. And ECS stands for Electronic Chart System. So although this sound very similar, there is a little bit of a difference that you have to know about it. All right. So an electronic chart system is a general term for all electronic equipment that can actually display a vessel's position on a chart on a screen. All right. So EGDIS requires a special type of electronic chart called ENCs, which stands for electronic navigation charts. And these are vector charts that has been officially approved by the National Hydrographic Office for those chart areas. All right. So we have the International Hydrographic Office, which is international, but we also have the National Hydrographic Office, which approves charts for particular geographic areas. Now, all the hardware and software for the EGDIS systems need to be designed and certified for navigational use on board ships. And it needs to meet the international performance standards to ensure that they are safe, reliable, can be used by the mariners to keep the ships safe. ECS, on the other hand, it describes all other systems that actually do not meet the EGDIS standards. So ECS are not safe enough to meet the IMO or the SOLAS chart carriage standards and they cannot be used instead of paper charts on commercial ships. So these systems can use a wide range of different types of electronic charts, including raster charts. Raster charts are unofficial electronic photocopies of paper charts that have been scanned into a computer and given a datum position reference. So therefore they are less accurate, not up to date and unsafe for navigation. So raster navigation charts However, are accurate scale copies of the officially issued and updated version of the paper charts as authorized by the local hydrographic office. Now, if you guys are thinking that, uh, no, no, he's just talking over the slides and why is he not showing some pictures? Uh, so for pictures and for detailed explanation, please watch my series of videos on EGDIS. And uh, there you have the pictures there and I have explained more uh, of this stuff. This video is only for oral exam preparation because you need short answers, quick answers, quick explanation so that you can say the same to the surveyor when he's asking you or she is asking you questions. The next question is what is the main difference between RNCs and ENCs? So ENCs I already told you stands for electronic navigation charts and RNC stands for raster navigation charts. All right. And the fundamental difference between them comes down to how the data of the chart is stored, how the chart communicates with the system that is running it, and the ability of that system to communicate that information to the user. So ENCs, they have each object. So each line, object, color, area, symbol, they have digitally described, position, and encoded. So the fundamental difference between RNCs and ENCs is that an ENC can communicate its information through the EGDIS to the user when or before it becomes relevant to the ship's navigation. So this means that ENC being used within an EGDIS system can actually warn the user before or when they are entering into an area of a shipping lane uh, with certain draft restrictions or a, a range of a chart object. Now this is the beneficial part to the navigator. So additional to the GPS position, course and speed, uh, these EGDIS systems can actually incorporate and overlay images from radars, ARPA systems, AIS, gyros, ships logs and it provides like an integrated view of the information so you, you, it's like a one shot view you just see one screen and you get that view so therefore it is for this reason that EGDIS is called an information system it is not only just a display system however like i told you before the rncs or the raster navigation charts are they are just a, like a like a replica of the paper chart so a collection of pixels with reference geographical position and the system using it can only provide warnings if the information has been manually entered into the system by the user all right so therefore 
they are less accurate than the ENCs. And raster chart reference datum also varies. They are not always according to WGS84. And that sometimes introduces some significant position errors between the chart and the GPS position. All right. However, all RNCs should have been actually corrected for this inaccuracy. The third question that surveyors often ask is, can electronic charts be used instead of paper charts? So as you probably know, in SOLAS chapter five, which is deals with safety and navigation, the regulation accepts EGDIS as meeting the chart carriage requirements for all ships. All right. So the regulation in particular will say that nautical charts and nautical publications to plan and display the ship's route for the intended voyage and to plot and monitor positions throughout the voyage. So these are words taken right from the SOLAS convention. So SOLAS, however, will not recognize any other electronic chart systems other than the EGDIS. All right. So regulation 19 of SOLAS chapter five also goes on to say that backup arrangements to meet the function requirements of uh, the previous paragraph that I told you, if this function is partly or fully accepted by electronic means. So remember, it is only the EGDIS system an approved EGDIS system that is allowed by SOLAS that is approved by SOLAS. So uh, therefore, any other system which is not an EGDIS will not be approved by SOLAS. All right. So therefore, this kind of regulation, SOLAS regulation, um, allows EGDIS to be used for uh, this, uh, uh, you know, plotting the positions, displaying the positions, just as SOLAS has described, but needs to be backed up by paper charts and publications as well. Now, what happens to EGDIS in areas for which ENCs have not yet been released. So areas where the electronic navigation charts have not been released, what happens to EGDIS then? Can you use it or not? So ENC is of course, as you understood, it is an integral component of an EGDIS system. So some EGDIS systems, however, are able to use RNCs, uh, that, so that is register navigation charts, when ENCs are not yet available. So in, there are some areas still that have not been probably surveyed properly or it doesn't allow survey uh, for which the, raster, uh, the ENCs have not been developed. So in that case, you can use the raster navigation charts, which are based completely on paper charts. Um, however, it is important to note that then the performance capability of an EGDIS system automatically downgrades to a raster chart display system or RCDS when any RNCs are used. So, okay. so this means that EGDIS system will stop being to able to fulfill its functionality when it does not have the information contained in a normal ENC chart. So then, you know, it downgrades its system. So of course it can use but then it shifts into a raster navigation chart system. Finally, uh, the fifth question, and this is like I said, this video is part one. I've got a series of more questions, but I don't want to make the videos too long. Otherwise it gets boring for you guys. So this is the last question is what are the limitations of an EGDIS when the ENC is not available and an RNC is used? So when the electronic navigation chart is not available, like we just discussed, and instead of that, if you are using a raster navigation chart, what are some of the limitations? So I will quickly tell you some of the limitations. There are many limitations. So unlike within an EGDIS where the ENCs has no chart boundaries, raster navigation charts have uh, boundaries based on paper charts, which is quite evident when you see uh, shifting from one chart to the next. Now this causes sometimes confusion or distraction to the user, uh, especially at areas which are near to the chart boundaries. Then RNCs do not trigger automatic alarms like anti-grounding. So some alarms and indications can be generated with the manual addition during passage planning. So you have to do the passage planning. That is the time that you have to include these alarms and they have to be included by the user. That is you. So example, you have to mark the clearing lines, the ship safety control lines, isolated dangers, just like you do on a paper chart. You have to do the same for the raster navigation chart. So to recover some of the safety functionality of the EGDIS system, and you need to set up this data. All right, so that is to be done by you. Then the third limitation is horizontal datum and chart projections. They sometimes differ between raster charts. Like I've told you before, they are not based on WGS 84 all the time. So you guys need to understand how a chart's horizontal datum relates to the datum of the position fixing system in use. All right, so the chart will have its own horizontal datum. And if say you are using WGS 84 in that area, then how does it relate? Is there any difference in position? And that difference uh, will be most noticeable you will see at grid intersections and during route monitoring. So you have to be very aware of this uh, difference in positions so that you know exactly where your ship is. And again, I told you before that some raster charts cannot be referenced to the WGS 84 system. 
So if it cannot be referenced, then the ECDIS equipment should give a continuous indication of this inaccuracy so that you are aware of the position error. Then uh, the display of the RNC's uh, features cannot be simplified by removal of data and features uh, to suit a particular navigation circumstance. So when you zoom in or out on a scale within the system, the raster chart image is only magnified. It does not jump the uh, the jump step the available information provide a clear display just in case if you want to focus on a particular area i will show you some practical videos from the exdis lab as well once i get access to it so you will get more information about it so without selecting different scale charts the look ahead capability is also limited and this also leads to a inconvenience then raster charts are always drawn in north up orientation and the information is written on the chart in the same orientation so when the orientation of RNC within the RCTS display is arranged in anything other than the north up, the readability of the chart, text and symbols may be affected, especially if the other is in course up or root up display modes. And uh, RNC is, it is not possible to, you know, get more information of RNC features to gain additional information about charted objects. Whatever is there scanned, that is what you get. With RNC, it is not possible to display a ship's safety contour or safety depth and highlight it on the display unless these features are manually entered into the road planning all right so and then there are some others ones as well i just wanted to keep it says, you know, to a few so that when you go for orals you can answer these uh, quickly and then uh, uh, show the survey that you have knowledge about these so i will uh, come out with more questions uh, oral exam questions which are related purely to egdis uh, let me know if these videos are useful to you because i was getting so so many questions regarding this and I have not made videos on it in detail yet. I'm making them. Uh, so I thought I'll make a separate video on this oral exam question so that it helps you with the exam preparation. Thank you for watching guys. And uh, I look forward to your comments and feedback. And let me know how we can improve these videos. And uh, what else would you uh, like me to make a video on. Bye for now.